you doing, Karen? I'm playing guitar. Playing guitar. Mm -hmm. What are you doing with your legs? Tough and showed I'm I think growing up I was never really like a vocal kid or like a vocal person. I'm very quiet, quite shy. So yeah, I didn't really speak about it and I sort of found my voice through making music. You, doing things you can't forgive. My past I can't relive. Yeah, that's all I ever did. You always saw me for what I was. I'm not afraid to like speak on certain things that other people might be afraid to touch on, like mental health, depression, loneliness, isolation. But I'll talk about that throughout all my music. As an artist, I, I feel like I'm a storyteller. We spent so much time really creating a whole narrative from start to finish. You know, the album within itself is a whole story. It's my life within the last two years, essentially. That's what really sets this project apart from anything I've done previously. Comfy on my ones, I've been sleeping late and drinking bare, you know what I'm like. Family is all I keep tight. Getting loose every night, feeling lost inside my soul. Need to hit the brakes like the Super Bowl. Need to get up out this fucking hole. Am I in free fall or cruise control? Don't worry about it, I'll just light another zoo so I can sing about it Depression becomes obsessive and that's the thing about it I don't mean to dampen the mood, I'm chatting to a lame one from France She got me out and singing Sacral of Blue, Sacral of Blue I hear it then I'm back in the stew, I got another banger cooking Yeah, that's not a new, only room for two, two doors she sat in the coupe Then went back to France The album's got a whole sort of range of emotions like you feel happy one minute then you feel sad and you feel nostalgic then you just sort of feel kind of hopeful come let's go see where the magic happens Sherwood studios go to location if you don't know about Sherwood studios get to know let's go So with Sherwood Studios, I just really wanted to build a community of artists from Maidenhead and Reading because I feel like there's so much talent coming out of this part of the country that it makes sense to just bring those people together. There's so many anxious people, you know, including myself in this space, who just need a little bit of reassurance every now and then. And I know the importance of that and I want to cater towards that and show people that it is a very common thing. It's not an abnormal thing at all. It's when you're hitting these ages, you're hitting between 18 and 22, 23, 24. You know, there's no plan of, there's no plan of what to do. You know, you don't know if you're doing the right thing or not. And it's, I think it's super important to just have that reassurance by other people that are on the same path and on the same journey as you. Because anxiety is real. It's a real thing. Never thought I'd find you. So you walked right into my life I knew you're right, boo Cause the way you made me feel inside No one's like you And I guess that's what makes you just It's just got to be controlled in a way in which those surrounding you and those you surround yourself with Your greatest enemy can be yourself sometimes Everyone else around you can see the potential, they can see the talent And even you can to an extent but, you know, anxiety clouds everything, absolutely everything. And that's what I want Shower Studios to be. I want it to be a space where if you are having a bad day, you know that you're coming to the studio and we're either chilling or we're recording or we're doing something creative in some capacity to just give you that little boost. Let's just take a spaceship. I want people to really understand who I am, who Taryn is the person. 
Come with me, we ain't got all day Girl, let's leave the city Leave it out of trace Less I'm knowing nothing So keep that Hopefully when the people listen to it They can sort of, you know, relate to To what I'm trying to talk about in the song Anymore, anymore Hazza! Oh. Her garage out. If you say that, I wouldn't. If you say that, then I want another dad.